In this video audio recording, I want to talk to you saints out there. You elect out of the 12 tribes of Israel. You chosen ones. You called out ones. I want to talk to you about some of the struggles you might be going through at this present time. Uh, a lot of emotional issues within yourself, struggling with worthiness, whether you're worthy to receive salvation or not, questioning your existence, and whether you should even receive all the blessings the Most High and His Son have for you in the future. Well, just know this, the Most High and His Son and their consorts, the Holy Spirits, they want to keep you around if you weren't worthy to inherit all this okay it's a blessing to be in this truth now some of you are given a chance to prove yourselves so you have a second chance they wouldn't give you the second chance if they didn't think you were worthy now there are some out there that will receive salvation guaranteed it's a small small group and even they are struggling just like everybody else Again, the Most High and His Son would not keep these individuals if they were not worthy. He wouldn't even bother with them, okay? Just look at the opposition, Satan and them. They're staring at oblivion, being eradicated from existence, okay? So no matter how bad you think you are, there's always others out there that are way worse than you. For whatever reason that may be, because they're stupid and whatnot. Despite all the talents and abilities they have. So you are worth it, okay? Don't attack yourself because if you do that, Satan's definitely going to join in on the pity party that you're throwing yourself into every now and then. Um, and that's the way I, you know, found relief in all this rage and madness within myself of whether I'm worthy or not. I had to tell myself, think, think. The Most High and the Son would not keep you, wouldn't even give you a chance, wouldn't even bring you this far if they didn't think you were worthy. But they do. So, appreciate existence, okay? Same goes out to all you other brothers and sisters out there listening to this message. It's not that hard to figure out. They wouldn't keep you if you weren't worth it, okay? It doesn't matter what you did. It doesn't compare to what these idiots are doing and have done, all right? Okay? They're heading down the wrong path. They can't even find the exit door. They're trying to figure out all these different ways to keep themselves in existence. But if they don't bow down, they don't do things the right way, they're not getting in. And that's what they don't want to do. They're struggling. They don't want to admit to themselves and to others, okay, I messed up, I'm sorry, I bowed down, I was an idiot, this and that. They're too prideful for that. Uh, you know, for us it might be easy, but for them apparently not. But anyways, you are worthy, okay? Whatever stuff you've done in this flesh, this flesh is garbage, okay? It's going to dissolve. It's nothing. It's protecting your true body. However, that doesn't mean that you could treat it and do whatever you want with it. No, this flesh and blood body serves as a testing ground to refine you, enhance you, get you to behave better, act better, okay? So it's like a safety safety suit on that you have. While you're living in this flesh, you mess up and whatnot, but it's refining you. And once you get rid of this suit, you should know how to behave yourself in the spirit body, all right? in the next realm or in the future new jerusalem that is to come so you are worth it okay um yeah don't hit the suicide button uh you are worth it and like i said they wouldn't bother with you if you weren't all right just know that a lot of people out there are struggling with this but they're not getting the right answers they're just getting oh you're just Having all these crazy thoughts, suicidal thoughts, don't even want to live. But they don't help you. They're not, they're not telling you what I'm telling you. That you are worth it. Otherwise, you wouldn't make it this far, okay? Tell that to yourself. If I wasn't worth it, they wouldn't keep me. They wouldn't be giving me all these chances and opportunities. They wouldn't bring me this far, okay? So ask yourself that. Right, but that doesn't mean you can sit on that safety and security. No, you got to keep 
going, keep proving yourself. Uh, show your father and mother that you know, you, you know, you wanna you wanna please them. You wanna be, uh, you know, a joy to them, a relief, whatever you can be to them. You don't wanna be a problem in existence. All right, like these other idiots that you see here. Uh, but that's all I wanted to share with you. Um, take comfort in these words. Uh, I love you. Um, like I said, I'm here to encourage you, motivate you, and enlighten you. Uh, my videos are not that long, but I don't need to make like a 10, 15, 20, 30, even an hour video long to enlighten you and get my point across. Uh, I'll keep them coming. Uh, excuse my, you know, intermission. Sometimes when I don't put out videos, it's because I'm going through it myself too. You know, I'm having these thoughts. Am I worthy? Uh, man, I'm such a bad person to be in this captivity, you know? Like, what did I do? What did I did? Are my celestial parents just uh, keeping me in existence out of pity? Or am I really worth it? And then, you know, I had a realization. Look, Jerry, they wouldn't keep you in existence if you weren't worth it. You'd be heading down the wrong direction. And you wouldn't even know it. You wouldn't know all this truth. So, just take comfort in this, okay? Please. So anyways, that's it. As always, not beloved, continue in the faith. All glory and praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahuwah, and His Son, Yeshua. Of course, the Holy Spirit too, Heavenly Mothers. Um, shout out to all the messengers out there helping in these end times, the angels. Uh, shout out to all the Akiyam and Akots, brothers and sisters. Pushing this truth day in and day out to the best of their ability and sincerity in the truth. Let's keep working uh, till time runs out. And yeah, let's just keep at it. The harvest is great, but the labors are few. Let's pray for more laborers. Let's pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, for more strength, more power. Okay, till next time. Shalom.